sparring for this camp's gone really, really well. Um, the lads have really, really pushed me, tried to imitate Diane as best that, was, that they can, and I think it'll pay dividends in the fight. I've been able to bring in some girls who fight very much similar, and the patterns and the systems that we're working is doing really, really well. Nowadays the pain follow me, deal with trauma privately. I don't wanna be a burden, I handle things defiantly. Spent a decade searching for a higher power God in me. Figured out that faith is not up there, that it's inside of me. Act with execution, what's a plan with zero action? Faced with bad habits, knowing it's a magnet to my imbalance. I'm somewhere between confidence and arrogance. The middle ground is treacherous, I work on getting out of it. Pops is looking down, I feel him every time the sun shines. Back to being unsigned, I only got my bloodline. With me going forward, smoking cookie till we dumb high. I heard you taking shots, we pulled up on them, they was gun shy. 2 p.m. in Rome, we at the chapel eating sun dried tomatoes and a plum wine. Life been like a movie, I don't know how long the run time. When it comes to clothes and trainees and that, I absolutely love going shopping. Um, I'm not very feminine, however, I do love spending money on clothes. I always like a fresh rig out every time that I go and do media or a fight week. I just feel like it's the only time where I get to be a bit more presentable as I'm normally drained and tired and wearing a tracksuit from training. Obviously, I'm a big puncher. I like to fight. Um, Danny Wivo is an old boxing coach of mine. And we have a, the very similar ideals to how we like to fight and our face attacks and style of shots and angles of shots. So it gives me lots of confidence when I go in and we gel and flow and makes me feel happy. <laughs> and then I get to incorporate it into my sparring. Yeah. 
I hope you got that on film, that's the best I've ever looked at. <laughs> I was gonna, it's funny you say that, I love food. I absolutely love food and I get creative with food. I think most fighters love food because it's your, your one thing you can't kind of have. So, Paul Petter, a passion project with me and my best friend Joel. And we sit down all the time, make the menus, give the menus to the chefs, let them be a bit more creative or put their flair on things. But it's nice to have things to worry about that's not just the gym and it's another outlet to be creative and to express myself. And I went with Italian because it's my favourite style of food and I love Italian culture. I feel it's very much like Scouse culture in terms of you have big, big scrans, big meals, loads of family rounds, and um, it's all about the experience. It was clumpy. It was clumpy and there was too much pasta bottom. That's just the perfect amount. <laughs> We have made it snow. We have made it snow with the pecorino. Shall never eat a non-fried gnocchi again. There's no need. That is phenomenal. That is super tasty. For the last one, I said we just need to normalise that just being like a snack level where you can just feed it off in like yeah. a big bowl. Yeah. That's what I was. Yeah. I need tons of it. Like. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, hundred percent. I had a couple, and I was like, oh. Yeah, these are one of those ones. Yeah. You know, when you just go, like, I can't really stop the momentum of them. They just That's it. Because they're, they're just like, just like crispy, crispy things in butter and when cheese. You, when you fried it, I, I didn't realize you were doing that. I just thought you were doing them um, in the water. Just, just, and no, no, fried, yeah, and I was yeah. Like, wow, that was so you just cook them, you like slightly overcook them a little bit. So they're like mm. fluffy. Mm. And then when you fry them, you just go, get like a little bark on them. And it's the chicken stock. It's, it's when you start putting things in stock, things start getting poached in Flavor and flavor on you know I mean? It's just locking things in. It's flavor inception. You know yeah, I mean? it's crazy. Um, right, what's your last one then? Like your, what's what kind of on your list? You tell me, I can't even remember. Oh yeah, she wants to do your side of meatballs and uh, lasagna. Perfect. Yeah, yeah. Sam? I feel like I feel like it would be a missed marketing opportunity to not get yeah. the meatballs. We, we had them it's, on as a side, but then like it's just, it's nice to have them with something the guests, you know what I mean? But like, agreed. I don't think you can put another sandwich away to be fair. Unless you want a pasta, do you want to try a pasta? At the meatball pasta. Just have a dish. I'm not gonna say no to you. Yeah, I'm not yeah, gonna say yeah, you're yeah. You, like you're dictating the rules. Here. I'm <laughs> not making the rules. I'll say yes, chef. Like, yeah. Yes, chef. That pasta looks delightful. So it's just a nice. It's like the, it's like the stick pasta. It's yeah. like chitata. It's called, which like means guitar. It's just a touch, a touch thicker. Than it's, a, it's just nicer, yeah, than like this thin one. If you yeah. get a bit fucking like lost. Getting a bit of this, obviously, just to finish it up. Is this the? Uh, that's the gramolata again. You just mix your fruit. It's nice, just brightens it up. A little yeah, bit of extra pepper. I, I kind of just, I just want a couple of bottles of that, just to just, you know, <laughs> at home, just have on the side. Yeah. More than that, I'm just putting on everything. To be fair, yeah. Steaks, wings, fish. I don't... Just, just a good finishing move on everything, you know what I mean? Yeah, 100%. And then just obviously, obligatory fucking parmesan. Yeah, that's, that is making it snow. That's extra for Christmas time. Absolutely. That's, that's it. What's the, uh, what's the process with the lasagna? Um, we just make a big gas, basically a big sheet of it. Just pour it's, it. There's something so satisfying about saying like the lamination yeah. of it. I don't know just what Just pour it into water. Um, just say, you just, just normally just have like, that's just a nice thing. Like like it out so, and just yeah, make yeah, the best yeah. meal, make the ragu. And just build them all and then. That's the yeah. perfect thing with things like a lasagna. You can just do that a bit ahead of time and it yeah. saves you in the heat of action. Like, cause I was thinking about the best way to do them is it's like, Maybe make individual ones, but nah. Yeah. Is no it a way. case of when you're making the menu, are you trying to make 
some things that you know you can just sort of yeah, pre-make. Gotta, Is gotta it gotta trying be, to like find a balance? You've got to be clever with your space, like, you know? Yeah. Obviously. Yeah, I think this, a... this is all we've got. Yeah. What, what you're standing in is, is, is our space. Yeah. Got a fridge in the back, you know? But yeah, you're just doing what you can do out of the space yeah. and just be, be able to do it well, consistently, you know? Consistently. That's, that's the, the most that's important the, thing. Yeah, that that's the, the most thing. important thing with food, you know? Training this evening will be king of the mat, a little competition that we do. Um, it's funny because when people get the, the new belts and the stripes on the gig, I'm always the one who has to tie their fucking <laughs> their belt because um, they can't do it because we're predominantly a no gi based gym. But um, yeah, it's always good to watch. Came up off the ignorance, coming from a family drunk cycle and it's belligerent. Me, I sip a little bit, maybe a little more, just trying to keep a score. Two cups in and knowing my liver sore, and knowing I'm into sore, and knowing I'm in for more. Rewriting destiny right when I hit record. Patching up the trauma, these lyrics is me a spawn. I rose from the concrete away, but it came with thorns, I know. I know, I know. Welcome to the good life. Thank you. 